Yeah, a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Time for the bald headed black man. The man that the ladies have nicknamed Sexual Chocolate. Rub his head and make a wish. It's unique. It's different. It's Victor Allen's new new sports. He brings it. He slings it. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Sports bras and jock straps. Get ready. Strap yourself in. It's time. It's sports. It's big. Yeah. If you guys want to take another break, and Mark, if you want to take another puff, just let me know, man. <laughs> okay, man. All right. All right. Welcome to the sports, man. Uh, the sports that you guys already know. And it doesn't play any favors. And I hate to start off with a, a topic that says, you know, free agents is not free. Now, you're going to say, how does it tie with this story? And we say, well, on May 30th, 2019, prior, Terrell Pryor, signed with the Jacksonville Jaguars, was placed on the injured reserve list, and then shortly thereafter was released. So he's a free agent, but is he free? Maybe. He may be free. He may not be free. I would say this is the Terrell Pryor we know. The issue becomes when you are in a form of relationship that can be considered volatile. And for the, everybody who already knows, a pretty face doesn't necessarily mean you blame the pretty face. So let me tell you about girlfriend Shalaya Briston. Oh, let me tell you why I'm telling you, because she stabbed Terrell in the chest. She doesn't look like a stabber, does she? <laughs> okay. They'll cut yeah, you. Your, so, no, no. See, I didn't want you to go in with that, Mark. They'll cut you. You can't do you that. You know that, Brick. You can't. Help! <laughs> you can't do that. Yes. First of all, I'm not endorsing that he is biased before he heard the details. I can tell by that picture <laughs> she'll cut you. Yeah, okay. She looks like a cutter. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> all, I'm, all I'm saying is this. Probably stabbed him over that haircut. Look, <laughs> the question, it's not the question. Let me just say this. There was an altercation. Literally, it was a, they were at a function. A, Terrell went home, standing in the hallway, and a witness says all of a sudden they get in an argument, and then when they get into an argument, then Terrell gets a little aggressive. You know, I always say be careful of these secondary situations where you get reporting. And the witness is said that it went physical and then it went extra physical going back in the house and into the kitchen. Mm. And then eventually he came out holding his chest, bleeding, and then eventually went to the hospital. Mm. Now, the question becomes here, defending herself, it's a history, they say, of being very, very, what they would call argumentative. Why would they stay together? That's not a question for me to even get into. good sex. I'm not getting into that. Those stabbers got some good shit. I'm just saying. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. Just before you. look at that haircut. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you're not saying anything about Terrell. You're just going towards her. I'm saying his haircut says everything. (laughs) No, 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 no. His haircut says everything. And let's just say, use better judgment, (laughs) Terrell. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying. Usually those cutters, those stabbers, they tell you. They tell you early. You know, I'll cut them. If I ever catch you, I'll kill you. <laughs> but I love you. Are you being biased? But if I ever catch you, I will kill you. Now, let me just ask you. Are you being Trust. biased? Listen, there's a very strong indication that they both are equally responsible. My question to you is He's this. the one who got stabbed, though. But you have to know what happened before they I got. read it but he's the one who came out stabbed <laughs> and she ha- ain't, she is not stabbed like I said okay wait a minute can fist be used as a weapon was she beat <laughs> see see wait a minute wait a minute she sad. wasn't beat or stabbed <laughs> wait a minute can fit can fist in fact be- her makeup looked perfect <laughs> at the end you know what she had some smudged lipstick okay so, so fist can't be used as a weapon. No, fist can be. You know, I saw those movies with Bruce Lee. Yeah, my fists. Some fists are licensed to right. kill. Right. Like they said, your penis back in the day. You know what, Mario? 
You know what? <laughs> At least that's what the girls were saying, Vic. I had to out you right now. Don't write Vic on Facebook and ask him if that's true. <laughs> you see what I'm doing? You see what I'm doing here? You see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to keep this focused, and you're trying to take it somewhere else. That's why I'm getting you back. Hey, it's okay. Write Vic on Facebook. <laughs> right. Write him and ask him if it's true, but I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't know. But I, I know what I heard the ladies when they left. Yeah, okay. I just want you to know. Let, let me just say this. The question, the question <laughs> you is, Terrell, is it, no, same no, no, thing. no, no, because see, I already think you took on, taken on because the details are coming out. You can more tell he more. works out, catch it, ladies. <laughs> you know, I see. see. That's and here's the reason why they say you're not reporting sports. <laughs> you, you, you're allowing Mario to exhale. <laughs> okay, you're taking. You're literally going. It's her. <laughs> See, I did say look at his haircut. Yeah, yeah I'd say, you're literally saying I did that. Say, look at his haircut. Well, he, he, they look at the chat room. They say look at her tongue. Yeah, yeah, they say, hey, that's hey. what they're saying. Dixie, it's right. not just me. You think it's just me? <laughs> Your chat room was saying look at her tongue. Yeah. See, what's that got to do with it? See, y'all holding her guilty, just like me. Right. She's guilty. I must admit, he don't. His issue that the haircut sort of looks and speaks to his intelligence, but he doesn't like a stabber. You know what? You 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 gone off the range. All right, you gone off the range. I'm just found the chat room. They <laughs> talk about. Oh yeah, what Bernard said. That's Adam and Eve. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Listen, I'm tr- I'm trying to find All right. the place of peace where we can say, will there be hope for this brother in the NFL in the coming near future? Or even if he if 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 all he can't play, Vicky got stabbed. No, 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 no. In the <laughs> upcoming future, he will recover. Will he be able to play in the NFL again? He could play before. Now he been stabbed. Oh well, he spent about nine years in the NFL. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. He was released though. Yes, yes. Because okay. I mean, he's converted from he's gone from like the quarterback to the right receiver. You know, he's trying to find himself, and and he didn't do too well. Got it. But. Are we saying this is the end? No, this we're not it. saying this. It's always the uh, the other league. <laughs> you know what? You're, the new you're China, talking about the North. The Chinese Football League. Wow. Does one really exist? It's coming. <laughs> Chinese football. So what about the Canadian Football League? Them too. Okay. But they got to beat the Chinese. Well, let me just say this. I hope things are better. I hope. I just don't know. See, it's gonna be hard, man. I, I don't, I don't. See, Vic brought up these controversial topics, so I just wanted them to know and remember to write him about that other <laughs> stuff I told you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here you go. Now you see, Pop, we got to do this because we're in a segment where we call what what happened, and this is gonna cover most of the what we call the stories that were the stories, and so I have to use somewhat of an example of what they call a frustration in this weekend's performances by certain teams. Not only in football, but in uh, basketball or otherwise. And the categories, Mario, you got to choose from before you illuminate your opinion. They either fall under badass loss, no big deal, slap that ass. Got it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Remember, let's say it all yeah, together now. I got now. it. I badass got it. loss, <laughs> no big deal, slap that ass. Okay. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. So, so I'm not going to try to cover every detail. That's for the enthusiasts who are really kind of looking at all the details. Baltimore Ravens defeat the San Francisco 49ers. Last second kick, win by a field goal. This game was kind of the example of the Super Bowl. Did anyone come out illuminated in either side of the ball? Or did you just sit there and go like this? That ass got slapped. Badass loss for the 49ers. No big deal. No big deal, Vic, because I think what it solidified in my mind, that game in particular, how good both teams were. That's what I came out of it. I came out of it really impressed with both teams. Right. You know, it, and it could have gone the other way easily. True. And so uh, On I the think, road. Yeah, I think, it's a, I think it was amazing. I think both teams showed their character and I, I think they look like the class of the league, no matter who won that one, the way it was played, a, Vic. A neutral field would be proved different, would it? 
Because they played could in Baltimore. be, could have man, it, traveling it, east, right? And it could San Francisco. Could, it was a wonderful game. It, listen, it was a great game. Th- this was a, This is where you get the best defense that can say if we are right now the best 49ers. That shows you the example of at least keeping the Ravens' offense under twenty points, say for example, or close to. So. Now you're looking for a Super Bowl. Now let me compare this. Yeah, and I don't know if that's considered. I mean, look at how we our standards are today. Right. Holding somebody. See, first of all, we wouldn't have ever said holding somebody to 20 points. Mm-hmm. We would have said holding you to seven points, right. three points. Right. Once you get to 14, I don't know if we're holding you anymore. What right? based yeah, and, and on the, today's the, world, world, right? With 30, well, watch this. right? With 30 is the average for the winning teams, right? Right. And I ask you this. Um, uh, maybe on the show or off camera, I said, this is the game of the year. Compare it. Which was the better game of the year? This game or last year's game with Kansas City at the L.A. Rams in the slugfest of, of offense that was historical? Which game did you get you more entertainment? Well, that's a hard one, man. It's partly blurred by the fact that at my age, my memory doesn't go back that far. It was like 54 to 52 or something I like remember. That. It was good. I just don't remember the thrill. I remember it being, and this is such a recent thrill, Vic. I have a biased opinion because I'm one of the people that's kind of taken by Lamar. And yeah, I'm we, so we, taken by him. I'm so we, loving this new string of quarterbacks. Mahomes went through the same thing. Yeah, but even but even Mahomes is still, to me, different from Lamar Jackson, and uh, both of them are different from you know uh, Skyler Murray. I'm still saying, based on what I saw, the trends and the professionals or those who are playing the game last year. I was following on the Twitter sphere and the whole thing. They were just amazed at. The offense, because you know what offense does for you? It packs that contract. When you get to go negotiate, you go, look at what I did. <laughs> you see, so when you actually don't, you end up going, man, I yeah. didn't score, I didn't make that much of a difference. The defense gets to say, look, we held them. You know, what's up? Now, no big deal. I mean, because think about it, they both held each other. To, that's right. That's to, right. To a twenty or less. Right. And you, you want to say that it's almost yeah. the same amount of points. Yeah. That's what was amazing. Okay. All right. Somebody has to have a a game streak ended, and I'm gonna come and put this in within Lala. What's up in Lala and the Lakers? Of course, get slacked by Dallas, and of Doncic and the Porzingis, they lose one fourteen to one hundred. Badass loss, no big deal. Slap that ass. Mario? Hmm. For a moment, slap that ass. Just for the moment. Though. Okay. So, so, In other words, this could easily be a different way. I'm impressed by Dallas. So yeah. I like Dallas. Yeah. And I find them enjoyable to watch this year especially. So, yeah, no, no, no. You're going to have these moments. You're going to have these moments. And, uh, that as, and so it is. When you have turkey legs preceding your game on the weekend, you're going to get that ass slapped. Hey, <laughs> may them best in shape win. Right, all right. Clippers defeat the Wizards 150 to 125. Badass loss, no big deal. Slap that ass. Just another slap that ass. Yeah. Still, they scored 125 on the Clippers. I mean, come on. And lost by 25. And lost by 25. <laughs> so I don't, it's hard to comment on that kind of stuff. You're like, I can't do that. Okay. All right. Next one. Detroit Pistons, the Detroit Pistons, slam the San Antonio Spurs. And I want you to think Popovich when he loses 132 to 98. Badass loss. Badass nope. loss. <laughs> That's an easy one, right? Yeah, I would hate to be in practice that day. <laughs> right. The next day. The next day. You, you know, know the next week is hell, it's, right? It's You can over, just go bro. home and say, baby, I, uh, uh, you oh, know, yeah. mm-hmm. coach is going to be on the on the Monday. He's going to be crazy on Monday. Th- thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, this is a no-brainer. Don't need to elaborate anymore. All right, the next one. The Houston Texans, as everybody saw, because it was a Sunday night game, uh, defeat the New England Patriots. The score is 28 to 22. <laughs> it really didn't denote how. It was wonderful. Lo- it was lopsided. The game was. That score was not indicative because they played. No. Pre- was- they played prevent defense when they're up and they're just trying to burn. They were clock. 28 to 9. Right. So it, now, 
Badass loss. No big deal. Badass loss. Slap that ass. Both. <laughs> Badass loss. Slap that ass. And <laughs> what? Okay, I enjoyed it because I don't get to watch New England get beat, and they got they were getting beat the whole game, the right. whole game. Right. So I watched all of it, all of it, while wonderfully smoking a wonderful, <laughs> and it was absolutely wonderful. Right. And but the one thing I will say this, Vic, I think what it speaks to really is a couple of things. One. I, as much as I hate New England, I got to give Tom Brady credit. I am sorry. That man makes the most out of that offense. His receivers were getting no separation. He was dropping that ball in the little windows that he could get. I had to give it to him. Yeah. And also I have to give it to Romeo Cornell in terms of his strategy because when they shut down Edelman, they had nothing. The New England, it's this is really a sign that New England, they are they 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 better may, they may have to call Antonio, they may have to call Antonio. I'm not giving them nothing. <laughs> okay, you can't be. I'm sorry. We do the most with the least, and then go. Oh, here's the argument. You don't have to pay a lot of high price receivers. You can get this out of the average receiver. I saw some throws from Brady. That was going, um, yeah, I don't want to hear anybody. No, I, saw, I, saw, I don't want to hear anybody blaming. Yeah, receivers. some of them, he, but he was mm-hmm. trying to put stuff. You know, I also thought there was some communication issues with the receivers, too, which went to that. In other words, he was putting the ball, and there, the people were there. Hey, listen. And I, I think, I, and if I had to guess, I, I'm going to blame the receiver. Let me say this. I'm going to blame the receiver. When the Rams or any other team go like, guess what happened? People are going like, you know, you're lousy. <laughs> Just, nobody's giving excuses. I'm not, I'm not giving no excuses. Him. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Even though, like I said, this shows that receiver-wise, they are lacking. They are really lacking, and it's not just them. When you see some of these other teams, the inability to get separation against these top cornerbacks, they're not, they're not getting open. Hmm. Yeah, I remember when the Ravens found a way to – do that, yeah. I don't know yeah if I'm there you go, huh? <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, you got both categories. I, I ain't mad at you. I, I'm, I'm rolling with you on that. Okay, Miami Dolphins. Um, oh man, it's hard, man. Philly, Philly. I'm just gonna say this. Slap that ass. I mean, badass loss. I'm gonna say it for you because you're talking about Wentz. You're talking about Miami, who's Way down in the cellar. Is there any other reason why Philadelphia should feel bad at this time, man? Because of that spanking they got from uh, Miami. Isn't it terrible be, to be the one, the <laughs> right. one win for the winless team? Right. It's got to be kind of bad, but you know. But even Cincinnati can win a game. What they won a game? Miami is a couple of games in, and you're Philadelphia, which is in the worst. Division, which is East, where it's 500 ball and nobody wants to win. So here's here's the question. Forget it that they Jerry lost. Jerry would not be happy Remember, with that comment. Thanksgiving weekend Jerry. gives Jerry. you a pause because of the food. At the end of the day, who's going to win the conference? <laughs> Philly or Dallas? Both of them took losses, bro. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I get to just take pleasure in that whole division. I used to like the Redskins, but now that I hate their name and their owner, right? So I'm just happy that the whole conference is shit. Okay, good. So you've already voted in. Who do you dislike more, the Cowboys or the Patriots? The Patriots. See, the Cowboys haven't. See, the Cowboys used to be my most hated team, but they don't win enough. Oh, you got to win a lot to hate. Behavior. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. After a while, they're so they lose so bad. Just like the Knicks, you just say, "Oh, well, I give up. I won't hurt on you no more because you're lousy anyway." So, you know, it's like you don't need to step on it's your, like it's like New York basketball. Bad, you know, you know, I don't have to criticize them. They they can criticize he's themselves. Already, he's already going to step on the ne- neck of the U- Nor- U- New York Knicks. I am. I I love to step on the New York sports fans. <laughs> Here we go. All right. We already understand that there's a beat LA chant out there and not a beat New York chant yet. Because they everybody beats them. <laughs> everybody beats New York. All right. They got the Jets. It right. serves you right. All right, here we go. <laughs> You're gonna see two images because there is a Patriot alert. And believe it or not, 
One of these two may end up on the team. The first one, Gronk. As you can see, he's playing the safest type of football <laughs> where you don't got to worry about people hitting you. Or we can go to what we call the best dancing moves in football, Antonio Brown. One of these two, right now, the Patriots wish they had. You both. The, one, the, one that you I both. Be, <laughs> the one that hits me is that the story of Tom Brady willing and even invited Antonio Brown before all this stuff opened up about coming to live with him. Right. So, so if you had to say the right. call is going out there. Who is more likely and the better chance to end up on the team between these two, Mark? Well, Gronkowski doesn't want to play. You know, and I say this. If they asked Antonio, he would do it. And and I will say this, and this is the part that's really poignant. Imagine if the Patriots had both of them in that game they just played. If the Patriots had both of them. What would we be talking about right now? Because as bad as the Patriots are, you know what their record is, right? They get records like that with a bad team. There is a point to Mario's kind of scenario. There is a place called What If City. A whole bunch of people live there. Me and a bunch of women that <laughs> go unnamed. <laughs> right. What if I got my what if? Uh, it's not even a zip code. Halle Berry had just lived next door. <laughs> what if? It would have been a different story. Jesus is his best friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> if Beyonce had have been living next door at the age of <laughs> right. 18. What if city? Been. I go there all the time. I just can't yeah, find what it. If, Geographically what if. challenged, I can't find what if city. <laughs> all right. No. Let me go on over to what they call when is it that your family trumps? Don't get it twisted. It ain't the Trump you think. When your family says we are more important than the game. So when your little angel wants in, Brown's head coach, Freddie Kitchens, wore a Pittsburgh started it t-shirt out in public, a reference to the brawl two weeks ago. A Brown spokesman said Kitchens daughter gave him the shirt as a joke and that he wore it to see the film A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, which centers around Pittsburgh and Mr. Rogers with his family. And he's getting pushback because they lost against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Is a loss secondary to someone saying you should have been smarter, all you did is energize the team? Or is it because even in a loss, my baby girl wins because she said, Daddy, this shirt's for you. Which move would you have made, Mark? I think it's Daddy, this shirt's for you. Come on, that's not even insulting, you guys. <laughs> you know, when you, when this is like good rivalry stuff that's actually people behaving Kind of properly. There's not a curse word. There's not kiss this or bite that. You know, so you got to give a, if you're going to have a rivalry, this is the polite kind. Okay. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So when he gets a, when he gets fired, he'll have a shirt. He says, I'm fired. Right. That's right. (laughs) And so it is. (laughs) Okay. So let's, let's go to the closing story because it is a, Kind of Southern Cali story. Got to give it. I watched this game, man. These powerhouses. Nationally ranked preps clash number one, number two. Number two, St. John Bosco, Bellflower, comes out ahead, defeats modern day, number one. They will be considered like, for Cali, kind of like the New York Yankees or the Lakers. This game was unbelievable. So I want to give shout outs to, uh, I'm just say DJU who's going to be at Clemson. And, of course, you know, we're going to have him rattling off. And I can't, I, the, the quarterback from modern day, I can't even remember. I mean, I've been watching, so I'm having a brain lock right now. He'll be at Alabama. So they're going to end up meeting each other once they get enrolled there and get their situation set if no other quarterback that comes in and creeps in and outperforms them. Of course, during the journey. So I want to give a shout out. That was my new new sports. Like I said, slap that ass when it needs to be. Mar, you know, it's time to go, bro. That's right. It's Victor Allen's new new sports. His unique neo-urban fan base view of sports. You can find it as a recurring segment of the Morning Coffee with Mario show. Here every week. Enjoy it. Remember to dress appropriately. Sports bras and jock straps. We want everybody dressed the same. That way you'll all be embarrassed and confused. Here we go. Another day. That's right. Sports, damn it.
Foot powder. Hot shower. Sweat. 